Hey everyone, I'm Steve and I'm here in the shop in the wood turning store and in this quick video I'm going to show you a new product of ours. This is the Hurricane Deluxe Bowl Sanding Kit. It's a great little tool for making it super simple to give you a swirl free finish on your bowls. Now let's take a look first at what you get in the kit. So this here, this here is the handle, comes with a wrench. The wrench allows you to loosen this up and articulate the head back and forth. It comes with four sanding pads, two three inch pads, hard and soft foam, two two inch pads, hard and soft foam, and of course the two inch pad is much better for getting in and out of a bowl with a tight radius. <clears throat> now here I've popped in some Hurricane film sandpaper, getting the pad into the handle is as simple as putting that in, giving it a push. You can see that it spins freely, but it's not powered at all. So how does this spin? The way that this spins is by applying the sandpaper onto a spinning bowl. The spinning bowl will actually power, will power the disc. So let's take a look at that. It's a little bit difficult to see, so I'll help you out and I'll get a pencil and we'll put some pencil marks around so you can see how it spins. Okay, so I've got a pencil here. This is, like I said, Hurricane Film Sandpaper. It's three inch, it's 220 grit. I'm gonna put a pencil line here and that's just gonna help you be able to see how this spins. Obviously it's, it may even mark the piece a little bit, but we're not going to worry too much about that. I'll put a couple of lines in here so you could see that we're doing something. A couple of lines here. This bowl has been sanded already, but for the point of this video it's going to give you a good, good, uh, good look at what we're trying to do. Get these out of the way. Put on my safety glasses. This here is our record power cam back system that I have hooked up to a remote control and it does a great job at pulling the fine dust out of the air before before it gets too too uh, too overpowering in the room. So I'm going to turn that on with my remote. My speed is about 500 RPM and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take uh, this pad, the lower quadrant right here, and touch it to the outside of the bowl and you'll see it spin. I don't know if you can see it, but the cam back is doing a great job right here. I can see it. I don't know if you can. It's doing a great job of taking a lot of this fine dust and getting it out of my face before it gets into the room. So that's as simple. As it is, let me turn it off and I'll turn off. So like I said, this piece uh, was sanded pretty far along the way, but you can see I had those pencil lines and the pencil lines are gone from here and so on. Uh, let's try that again. I'm going to turn the speed up a little faster now. Put a mark on here again so you could see it spinning. Here we go, lower quadrant. And you can probably see that the, dust is, that the dust is going everywhere because I forgot to turn on the cam back. And there it is. I had the cam back just a little bit away from me for the purpose of the video. If I had this cam back right in here nice and close, it would do an awesome job, okay? Now position of the disc on the bowl is pretty critical. Like I mentioned to you, I touch the bowl to the lower quadrant here and that allows this to spin. Just like that, I'll put another mark here. Hopefully you can see it, right? What I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna turn this in different positions and you'll be able to see that this will stop spinning, which of course is not a good thing. Um, so it's a little bit, uh, takes a little bit of practice to get it into the right section. Here we go. All right, so there's an example where I'm, where I'm straight down on the bottom. 
straight down here and there's no force to spin this so it doesn't spin. The minute I go and tilt it a little bit and go into the quadrant, it starts to spin. I hope you can see this, but if I go this way, it turns the other way, back and forth. And that's really a preference, it's up to you. But what's happening here is that the, the wood piece is coming around this way and the sanding disc is going around this way and that's what provides the swirl-free finish for you. Like I said, oh, turn, turn this back on. Like I said, we have 220 grit paper. If I, if I needed to, it had to be at 80 or 60 grit, it would work just fine. And for acrylics and plastics and things like that, if I was up at 1,000 grit, again, it would work just fine. Turn that off. Now I'll take this out and I'll pop in a two inch disc. This happens to be Hurricane Storm sandpaper. Grid is about 120, it's just what I have here. Again, you're gonna see those pencil lines here. And the two inch disc is, like I said, gonna be able to get us inside these curves. Same thing here, I'm gonna try and use, uh, touch the sander in the lower quadrant here that will, whoops, yeah, just like that, that will get it spinning, and you'll see. Actually, what I'll do, maybe it helps, is I'll put some marks on the outside here. Hopefully, that will enable you to see when this spins or doesn't. Here we go. Turn on the cam back again. I'm using two hands, and I'm using kind of a three-point stance just like we do in, in turning and hopefully you could see that it's spinning just a little bit I can get it to stop spinning so that's how I'm controlling that's how I'm controlling the speed at which I'm sanding and the force of which I'm sanding in and out we all know that as you get to the center of the bowl you have slower speed in the center of the bowl, so obviously it's driving the, uh, the disc at a slower speed. With a little practice, you can move the position and get it to move or not move. Carefully, I'll come and I'll touch the rim of the bowl. Again, over here. This sandpaper is a little coarse for, for this bowl, which has already been finished, but you get the idea. I'll turn that off. And the finish is really nice. Some black in there that's actually from the lead, so that's not a great thing, but you get the idea. So hopefully that was helpful. Again, that is the Hurricane Deluxe Bowl Sanding Kit, available at thewoodturningstore.com, along with Hurricane Sandpaper. I hope you enjoyed that video, and thanks for watching.